When I first make a first bite on anything, I try to have no preconceived idea or expectations because I really don't know what they're going to taste like. But I bite into it and then all of a sudden, oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful texture. I could, I could taste the juiciness and the crunchiness of the texture and the sweetness and nuttiness. Then I think about it. People make fun of me. You call everything nutty because I could feel, I could taste the nuttiness in everything. A lot of the vegetables have the natural, natural nuttiness. And then they munch on them at the market. You know what, you're right. They do have the nuttiness. See, I told you. Hi, I'm Nevia No. I'm the owner and the grower of Bodhi Tree Farm in Pemberton Township, New Jersey. First of all, the Bodhi means in Sanskrit, enlightened. So it's considered as a very spiritual tree in India. And I named it Bodhi Tree because I'm a Buddhist myself. And anything that has the, the right energy can become an enlightenment. So what people really get out of my produce, the real essence is not just the uh, the vitamins and minerals that they get from the vegetables, but also the spirits and the good feelings and the love that we try to put into our vegetables. Our vegetables have much more flavor than other produce at the market. The reason being is because my plant suffer in the ground a lot. Just like us human beings, through the hardships and sufferings, we grow and we learn. We become the people we are. We, we build characteristics and personality. Same thing with the plants. The more sufferings and hardships they have to go through in order to survive and become fruits or, or roots, they create much stronger and concentrated flavor. When everything's given like enough water, fertilizer constantly, when we give everything they need without having them suffer through anything, they just become very bland flavor vegetables with no personality. Without suffering, we cannot grow. Yes, I try to grow what I want to eat first. And what I eat is the most important thing in my life, what I put in my body. I have to satisfy my palate and myself first, and then I'll share with the others. That's the way I am. I feel very greedy having this opportunity just to myself. You, you get a lot more than what you put into. The return is huge. That's it for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza DeGia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.